Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Galante for Extra Frame. I am here with Parker Bond III, who just won the PBA World Championship match. How does it feel to be back in the winner's circle? Oh, Ashley, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, it's been a couple years going since I've been back here, and you never know if you're ever going to get there again. Did you think that you were going to be here after having such a late start because of Hurricane Sandy? You know, obviously my head was in a thousand different directions, really not focused on bowling. I, I didn't pick up a ball for the entire week prior to coming here, mainly because of everything that was going on at home. And, uh, you know, it, it was literally a last minute decision to come. I could have flipped the switch and stayed home just as easily. And uh, I decided to come out because I, I know my heart's in it. And obviously my family's behind me all the way. But uh, our power came on the night before I left. And uh, lo and behold, I came out here and, and tried to work things through. And who, who would have figured then that I'd be standing tall right now? And um, what of adjustments did you make over the four games? Well, the, the biggest adjustment had to be the right lane. The right lane uh, was carrying down, but started to hook a little bit early, and it really started to make the ball not go through the pins the proper way. I could still get to the pocket, but it wasn't picking up the way that I wanted it to. So uh, it, fortunately for me, the score wasn't very high against Rhino. You know, both of us had our, had our little problems I'll say but it looked like I was still hitting a pocket and uh, for what he was going through the troublesome there I didn't want to give the pocket away and uh, I tried a ball there obviously after I threw the first shot that struck in the 10th I tried a different ball and lo and behold that's the ball I continued to use on the right lane only the rest of the way I firmed up a little bit on the left lane and it stopped the ball from hooking a little bit early and really got it to the spot on the lane that it needed to get to to roll through the pins. In the title match, you left back-to-back -back seven pins. Was that just an errant shot, or did you have to make an adjustment off of it? I threw it a little bit too hard. And uh, by throwing it a little bit too hard, I got it left early, and, and the ball checked up and stopped. Uh, to be honest, I was totally happy with just a seven pin standing, because uh, the ball didn't exactly uh, go through the pins the way that I wanted to, obviously, on those two shots. But, you know, nine spare, nine spare, it's early enough in the match. I mean, I'm going to look at the scoreboard and go, if my opponent keeps striking and shuts me out at that point, if I have the potential to shoot 268, it, it is what it is. I can't change that. All I can do is try to do the best thing I can. How does this win rank over all your other career titles that you have? Oh, boy. It's going gonna, it's gonna to rank way, way up there. And, and you know what? It ranks way up there for a, a lot of different reasons. Um, my children, I'm going to start number one. My children, the children I have now, have never had the opportunity to really understand and watch me win a PBA title, regardless of the fact that it's a major or not. You know, watching me bowl on TV, okay, they've seen me bowl on TV a little bit here, a little bit there, they watch videotapes, but uh, living it right now, it's something that I know in my heart they will never ever forget. That to me is what really what means the most. I'm here with Chuck Gardner, who is the Brunswick ball rep, Chuck. How rewarding is it for you to see Parker Bowen the third back in the winner's circle? Uh, it's simply amazing. Uh, it's been several years, um, and he's worked so hard. I, I, I hope Randy talked about it today, and maybe we can a little bit on here, the changes he's made and how hard he's worked to get to this point again. You know, he dropped ball weights, used grips for the first time in his career. He's never used grips, uh, worked on some tempo changes. He's worked harder than any 48-year-old man should ever have to work, in my opinion. What weight did he drop down to? Down to 15 from 16. Been 16 pounds his whole career, and he's never bowled with finger grips in a ball in his life. Uh, we've changed pitches. We've changed grip. Um, all kinds of things over the last two years, and it's culminated in this. I mean, just can't get any better than that. How do you think that helped him? Well... I think the 16-pound bowling balls, uh, although they seem to go through the pins a little harder, um, but as we get a little bit older, our hand gets slower, um, and he, he became more speed dominant than he used to be because his rev rate went down. And the 15-pound bowling balls let his rev rate go back up. So I, I, it, was a tough, it was a tough decision for him, and I did a lot of lobbying to try and get him to do it, and he was finally open-minded. You know, he's always been open-minded, but he finally just said, let's do it. Let's try it. What the heck? I'm going to commit. What bowling balls did he throw on the final match, well, on the show, period? Well, he used two different mean streaks. And uh, the first game, he used one ball predominantly, and that was this one here. It's a uh, pin right above the bridge, um, weight hole on the axis. Nothing really special, kind of a, a drilling that he likes to use quite a bit. Um, but it started to really look a little 
funky on the right lane, wasn't really doing the right thing. And uh, when he got a chance to throw that fill ball, um, I just grabbed this other ball. He never threw it down the lane and you know, made the change to the stronger one with the, uh, with the stronger weight hole. And it's a similar layout, except for the pins down. Pinch stronger, but it's got, it's got strong uh, weight hole to make it flare a little bit more so he could stay firm, throw it hard, and it picked up in the mid lane. And it was a little bit of magic. You know, threw two balls on the two different lanes. And that's, that's I don't know how many times Parker's done that in his career because he's really critical of his feel. He's, you see him, he's always tinkering with the thumb hole, always tinkering, carving, digging, changing tape. Um, but he threw two different balls and he threw it pretty well.